I got my matcha latte in my hands. I got my matcha latte in my hands. I got my matcha latte in my hands. And I got you and you and you and you and you beautiful. And I'm so happy to see you today. You look so good today. Oh wait, you literally look good every day. <laughs> no, really, you look beautiful. Yum, okay. So, YouTube is known for DIYs, hacks, all kinds of things. And a lot of it is centered around hair. And people love to cut their own hair, color their own hair. And that is why I have the job that I do. So thank you so much. Today I thought we'd do a little exploration of DIY haircuts. How they work, what people are doing these days for DIY haircuts, how people cut layers in their hair at home, how people cut their own bangs, how people do a blunt haircut. And I wanna just get in their minds and see what the hell they're doing because whenever somebody comes into the salon with a DIY haircut, it's not cute. And I wanna know where the hell they're getting this advice from. So today I'm gonna do a little YouTube search, find some DIY haircuts, and I'm gonna follow them for you guys on my good friend, Miss Manny Quinn. All right, you guys. Let's freaking do it! Ah! She's my best friend. Yes, she is. And she's back for more, aren't you? Yes, you are. Thanks for being here, love. I'm so glad you could make it again. If you guys didn't um, realize, yes, I did comb out her hair since the last video I did with her following a 19th century hair tutorial video. She had quite a few knots in there, didn't ya? Didn't ya? And no, she does not have arms, and so she could not brush her own hair out. And to be honest with you, I had my assistant do most of the work, so... Thanks, Joe. All right, you guys, so let's... Ow! I know, stop looking at the camera. You People get creeped out, babe, I'm sorry. Your freaking face, it's a little creepy. <laughs> but so is mine, so that's why we get along. All right, so let's pull up the first tutorial, which is gonna be a layered haircut tutorial because these ends need to go real bad. So we're gonna give her a nice layered haircut, hopefully, sort of nice, I don't know. I'm gonna be following these tutorials to the exact, even the types of tools they use. And we're just gonna do exactly what they say. If they don't use a comb, I'm not gonna use a comb. If they use thinning shears, I'm gonna use thinning shears. If they, you get it. All right, great. One more step before I start. Good luck. <laughs> okay, great. And I'm ready. So our first video is by What A Shame Mary Jane. Oh, what a name that is, Miss Mary Jane. It's called How I Cut My Hair While Traveling, DIY Layered Hair. This actually has only a thousand views. So, okay, great. Hello, everyone. Hi. Hi, Mary Jane. If you don't know me yet, I am Mary Jane. I am a full-time traveler. I'm traveler, Brad. So it's nice to meet you. <laughs> full-time traveler means that I travel all the time. It I seems have like been a lot, cutting girl. my own hair for a few years now. Uh huh. Because uh, I, I never like going to the salon and spend a lot of money on something that I don't think is so important. I'd have to disagree. It doesn't really matter. But that's okay. If I am in New York City. I'm staying here for a few months. That's where I live. And I really, really need a haircut. So you do it yourself? You're a New York City girl. You're in the best city for hair out in the world. What are you doing? The only tools that I have are these scissors, like literally. Remember when I said I'd be using the same tools as her? I definitely don't have children's scissors on me. I'm sorry. I'm already breaking my own rules. I have this travel brush, which is ridiculous. For this is worse than I thought it was gonna be. It's falling apart. I don't even have a comb. Is... <laughs> and I have a comb. Get rid of this. And I'm gonna show you Show us. Oh Show us that mane. That is a lot of hair, girl. Oh my god, she's so pretty though. Hello, Miss Mary Jane. Whoa. Girl needs a haircut. I'm so glad. I mean, I have to be careful when I sit on the toilet. And I have my hair loose. <laughs> so, it's not very pleasant. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna brush them. Alright, so my girl's hair is already brushed out. So we good, we good. Oh my god! That is so long and luscious and beautiful. I know that many women would like to have such long hair, but <laughs> I tell yeah. you, they, they don't look good and they don't feel good. Yeah, to I, agree. Now is I agree, I agree, I agree. Okay, so we're putting the head upside down. Oh my God, hold on. I am a perfectionist in general, but there are some things 
for which I just don't care being perfect. Why? <laughs> Why? Why is that the thing that you don't care about, Miss Mary Jane? All right. So first step, we're gonna flip her. Hello. Can we flip your head? Thank you. So she didn't use a brush at all. There's gonna be so many bumps in this hair and it's gonna be so uneven. Oh my God, I wanna use a brush so bad already. God, she really doesn't care though, does she? And we're not going for perfect, like Mary Jane said. Great! Step one is complete. I'm really excited about it. The kind of haircut that I do is um, a layer haircut. Great. And to get layers, you know, flip your hair, this way, if you cut them straight, the front hair are gonna be shorter, right? Mm -hmm. Because the long hair has to come all the way from the back of your head to where I This here. is so very true. Here, if I manage to do it with this thing. So that was actually quite a good explanation. At least she knows what's going on. Because you're over directing all of this hair from the back, this hair, when it falls down, just visualize this, it's gonna be the longest hair because you're over directing it all the way over. And then this hair from the front is gonna be the shortest because you're cutting it here. And then when it falls back down, it's gonna be way shorter than the back because the back is over directed so much. So at least Miss Mary Jane knows what the hell is going on. That is the first step. Like, yes, girl, okay. I'm actually not hating this yet, but um, this is definitely not a very precise way of doing it. I have never ever cut hair like this So we're gonna see what exactly happens when we um let the hair out after we cut it. Okay, great Okay, so now she's just using her hands. I think I just had an idea Wait, what are we doing now? Okay, don't get scared, but I just thought that I don't get scared Maybe it's gonna be it's gonna do a better job Jane, what are you doing? <laughs> Stop, put down the knife, let it go. Don't do this to me. Uh-uh, get out, no thank you. But you guys, like I said, um, I'm gonna be using the same tools as she does. So I'm gonna stick to what I said and go grab a sharp knife from my kitchen. <clears throat> so <laughs> this is happening. Yeah, 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 cool, cool. Okay, next step. Okay, now she puts on her hairband where she wants to cut the hair. And also, she's directing the hair downwards and then putting elastic here. She's not actually holding it up, which she should be doing because now this is gonna give her even more layering, which is fine if that's what she's going for, but I don't think she realizes that that's what's happening, okay? Okay, let's do this. Ready. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. That's great, okay, okay. The oddest part about this right now is that it's working really well. It's kind of fun. Wait, what? I just cut the hair with a knife. Look, that was so fun. Listen, it really did cut the hair. <laughs> I'm actually kind of shocked, but it definitely didn't give us a very even edge now, did it? Mm -mm. Okay, well, so why don't we just leave this right here? Let's keep watching what she does. Okay, now she's evening it off, evening it off without it using off. a comb. Bam, done. Let's see what happens. I'm actually really excited. Shake it out, let's shake it out. Can I, can I brush it? Um, okay. <sighs> oh no. This is why you don't do this. To be honest with you, I didn't think it was gonna be this bad. Oh shoot, oh shoot. That is not it. <gasps> Oh my God, what the hell happened? Can we look at these layers? What even is that? I honestly didn't think it was gonna be this bad. Oh, baby girl, no, this ain't it. Like, look at the back. <gasps> Ew. Oh no, this is not it. This is not it. No! Maybe I'm judging too soon. Maybe we can, maybe this is savable. Let's keep watching. Okay. Already some nice layer, right? No! This looks like sh What's the next step? First step, but I am already pretty satisfied No! No! Don't do this to me! Where are the hair gods? Save me! Okay. So she's sectioning off this part with her fingers, now with a comb. Awesome. I don't need a comb. I have fingers. These phalanges can section. Alright? But no. Okay, we're over. We're directing you upwards, see, which is actually a good I idea. Used this section, this central section of hair, and I combed it up. 
You have a brush. Why don't you just use confident. it? So the way you want to cut your hair is by putting <laughs> the scissors right. straight. All right. She like did this, brought it back down. The part I hate the most about this is not using a comb. I don't even know which hand is which now. Like, I don't even know which hand I cut with. And look, what is that? What am I supposed to do with this? I, there's no like connection whatsoever. Am I supposed to cut all this off? Like, I mean, I guess. I would just even this out if I was really cutting hair. So point cut it, she said. We're gonna try and make something out of this. Make it not look so bad. Okay, so now let's let this down. Okay, no comb once again. Um, what do you guys think? <laughs> okay, it looks a little bit better. Still, we have a shelf on this side. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. Okay, so now, I don't even know. She's taking it like this and just kind of like bringing it down and point cutting. We're just kind of like fixing this. Let's cut that straight. There's really no fixing this though. Like look at that ledge. Them. It's like, ding. <laughs> I don't even know what to do with my life right now. I actually am legitimately trying, but like we already have this awful base that we're starting with. Like she has literally a blunt haircut. There's no blending this in. It looks so bad. Oh, she really got hacked. You hacked her. This is the outcome of Mary Jane's haircut and um, this is mine. <sighs> and as you guys can see, I followed exactly what she did. And let's just say, this does not look good. So don't be following this shit at home because, whoa, this is a mess. What can we do to fix you? I know just the thing. The worst part is these like short, short pieces that have no connection to the rest of the haircut. <laughs> so why don't we just give her bangs? And why don't we just follow somebody else's DIY tutorial to cut her bangs? Because it seems like the right thing to do in this situation. Let's do it. Okay, so we're gonna follow this DIY cutting my own bangs thing by Joanna Spicer, okay? So let's watch this. Okay, guys. Thank you. I've actually never been here, but thank you. Just needing bangs. Already you know, relatable. Just, thank you, Joanna. So, we're gonna do this. I like my long I love the hair. attitude. I don't wanna I love cut it. it, but I'm just bored, so I figure bangs. I mean, it up a bit. that's I have usually here how it works. A comb. Every girl, they're like, I don't wanna cut my length. I don't wanna do anything, Um, so why don't I just get bangs? Which is one of the most commitmentful things you can do to your hair because once you cut your bangs, it takes like three years to grow back out and it is not fun. And I've seen a lot of people struggle to get their bangs back to the length of the rest of their hair. So, cool. Perfect, Joanna, let's do it. Let's do it. Blow dryer, I have a mirror, and I have cuticle scissors. Um, these are the right tools, but uh, that's what I'm gonna use. And I said that I would use the same tools. So let me go and um, grab some cuticle scissors. Okay, awesome. I don't know, you guys. I don't know if this is gonna happen. These are really small cuticle scissors. But I'm gonna stick to my word and use whatever she uses, so. So. Okay, we're sectioning. Sectioned off oh, what is that bearings. section? I have a short forehead, so I like to start back a little bit further. So basically, she has a really short forehead, so she wants to bring the hair all the way from back here so her bangs look more full. To be honest with you, I don't want to do that. Um, but we're gonna do it anyways, okay? But what's gonna happen if you do this is that it's gonna give you a bowl cut because the hair naturally falls to the side, so she's gonna have like some bang on the side of her head over here and over here. You'll see. I'm sure it'll look like <laughs> so let's keep going. Great. And I'm gonna pretend like I know what I'm doing, but I'm just telling Great. what I did. Thank God, because okay. you have no freaking like idea. Diagonal, like the arch. Okay, it's the like arch of the eyebrow. eyebrow. Um, That's not bad, not bad. Runs. Can you twist it once or twice? Oh, we're twisting. Twist. We're doing the twist. We're doing the twist. She's twisting, and that is because she's trying to over direct the hair so that it's longer on each side and goes shorter in the middle. When you let it go, it's gonna be longer on the sides than it is in the middle. And that's how it works. That's not a bad way of doing it. Let's see what happens. Okay, with my cuticle scissors. Oh, that's a lot of hair. Hey, these are actually yeah, working. So no, hey, these are actually perfect. working. Okay. <laughs> this doesn't look great. That's so this much looks hair. Like mushroom hair. No. Oh, Joanna. Oh, Joanna, these mushroom bangs. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't know who's are worse. Joanna's or like Miss Manny Quain here. Oh, BBG, this ain't it. 
What is this? Okay, I'm gonna do a little oopsie and just cut a little bit of like this length off this side. I'm gonna use my cuticle scissors and I'm gonna cut it. And I'm gonna keep cutting for three hours. Okay, that's a little bit better. <laughs> and trim the middle. So I'm gonna like do up. <laughs> Should I just twist again and cut more? Okay, so I'm gonna take we're the cutting these down. shorter. This is actually a razor to blend it in. <sighs> what are we razoring now? Here. So she uses this kind of razor. Clip it. I'm just like doing stuff. Like I don't really know. <laughs> Me every day. Like, I'm just like yes. literally doing stuff. Oh my god, these That's are the most like full bangs I've ever seen in my life. What are those? I wonder if my hairstylist is watching and she's like, no, <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, yeah, I'm sure she is. This is, um, want, like, um, this is so sad. I feel so bad for Miss Manny Queen. Hold on, I'm gonna blow dry her real quick just so this like part isn't here and I'm gonna try and like <laughs> fix it. Wish me luck. Okay, so I just blow dried the bang situation with a blow dryer and a round brush. And to be honest with you, they don't look terrible, but as you can see, there's still quite an, um, a thing going on over here. So I'm gonna even it out because that is what Miss Joanna is doing. She is kind of just like going in and like fixing it. Okay, so mm, these are some full bangs, honey. It's not like the worst thing I've ever seen. It's kind of like bowl cut chic, especially with these like layering going on from the last video. Um, it's kind of retro and like shaggy. Not totally hating it. Let's see what else she does. Okay, those are my bangs. Yes, Joanna. Do you guys like? Doesn't look here. horrible on her, like. Okay guys, hope you liked this little impromptu non-tutorial for how to cut your own bangs. <laughs> Thank you. Um, hope you liked it and if you like my new hair, give this video a thumbs up. So what I'm gonna say about Joanna's bangs is that they actually don't look that bad. The only thing she needs to do is like not cut them back so far. Like I get that she wants a fuller like fringe and like she wants it to come back really, really far, but like she went literally on the back of her head and I would recommend not doing that or else you're gonna get like that bowl cut and it's giving her a very, very like rounded helmet head thing. So just be careful with that, Joanna. I mean, unless that's your style and it seems like Joanna really likes that. So Miss Joanna Spicer, it's not the worst tutorial I've ever seen. It's not. So that is the finished outcome of the DIY haircuts that I followed. One was layering, one was bangs, and I could see where they were going with the whole thing, but the execution wasn't quite there for me. If you can notice on these ends, it needs a lot of work. If this is what you're going for, just a little haircut at home, I'd highly recommend following one of these tutorials. Thank you guys so much for sharing your tutorials and hopefully nobody follows it at home. <laughs> How do you like your new hair, babe? Like it? I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for that. Yeah, that's the back. What do you think, Eric? Pretty. <laughs> that's the haircut. All right, so. <sighs> I learned a lot how to do a terrible haircut with a knife and with some cuticle scissors. And will I ever be doing that again? F no. If you're gonna cut your hair this bad at home, you might as well just go to like a really cheap place. They would do a decently better job for you and it'll probably cost you $25. So <laughs> that's my little piece of advice. And that's all. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check out Glitterati and follow XMod on Instagram for new product releases. Wink, wink. Follow me on Instagram at BradMondoNYC and Twitter because I like to say things on there. Don't forget to live your extra life and never cut your hair at home. And I will see you all next time. Peace.